seconds. All right. So, hopefully we're streaming. Maybe. Uh-oh. Guys, let me know. Oh, God. I want you to see me get this ice beam, so I don't want to I don't want to grab it until it's actually working. I'm going to drink some water. While I wait for confirmation. Oop. Hey. What is the deal with Wi-Fi? Well, actually, it's not even Wi-Fi. I, I got an Ethernet cable plugged in, but our, our router likes to just stop every once in a while for fun. Thanks, Comcast. You keep my life so interesting. So not the router, but the... If it was the router, that's a wireless router, right? Right, the modem then, I guess. Okay. Whatever the wires are yeah. plugged into. But you, you reset the... Yeah, I reset it. Okay. Well, I reset both. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, I'm about to get the ice beam, which is exciting. But Riccio, you are in the path of a deadly storm, and you're I will like we want deets. I feel like a yeah. shithead for not opening with that. Um, are your loved ones okay? Like it seems like you're okay. Yeah. Hopefully your loved ones are okay. And your pupper. And your pupper is okay. Like uh, what? What's the story? My man, my guy, my main man, my main man, my main man. That is an old South Park joke. I haven't, I haven't trotted out that old chestnut in a while. That's a good one, my main man. Yeah, Ricky, I want those deets. Your loved ones are fine. Good. Now what about your hated ones? He says his hated ones are dead, though. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, this, that's, amazing. that's amazing. That is, oh, man. That's awesome. Ricky, this is why you're the vice president yeah. of Super Apartment Friends. We are on the same wavelength, my man. That is, a, that's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. And, and I think the stream might have cut out when we were talking about it, but um, we have some other friends that, that live down there, and they actually, they evacuated. They came all the way up to Michigan. Mm. And actually helped us move, which was yeah. crazy. Because I'm like, you guys are refugees. Why are you helping us move? But they, you know, they, they, they did. And their house is okay, too. So it's, I think it, didn't it, it ended up getting downgraded to, like, a Category 2 by the time it got to Florida. Was that what happened? Or, like, a tropical storm, yeah. But, well, by the time it got to them in Florida, it just slowed down. It slowed way down. Right. Now, the same can't be said for those, those folks the in the, time. yeah, they had power the whole time. But uh, the guys in the Caribbean are not doing so well, right? No. Like the Virgin Islands and stuff, they got fucking annihilated. Uh, what's his name? His wine cellar. <laughs> Some Mr. Virgin. Um, oh, Branson, Richard yeah. Branson. Why did he have a wine cellar in Florida? No, no, in the in the Virgin Islands. Oh, in the Vir oh, in the Virgin Islands. Yeah. Of course he has stuff. Why does he love Virgin so much? He seems like a creep. <laughs> he was down there. I think they played games and stuff. But yeah, everything. Yeah. His his. His place has survived a lot of hurricanes, but this was the worst, the most damage he's ever seen. Uh, Anyone's ever seen. Well, I mean, Richard Branson seems like a, an okay guy, but he's also, a, like, a billionaire, so I'm not, like, super... No. <laughs> like, oh, no, not Richard Branson. Oh, I hope he's okay. He's a good guy, though. He's no, yeah, he seems like a decent dude. He's friends with Obama. Oh, if he's friends with Obama, he's friends with me. Yeah. Because I'm Obama's best friend? That is not true. <laughs> That'd be cool, though. Next week on Super Apartment Friends, Barack Obama. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, guys, let's start a hashtag and see if we can get Barack Obama on here. Oh, that'd be amazing. The four of us <laughs> can start a viral sensation. What do you think his favorite video game is? Ooh. I like to think Frogger. <laughs> oh, Jinx. Wait, not Jinx. <laughs> said something completely different. I think I I'm very red. I don't know if you see this. I got sunburnt pretty good you got at uh at the Tigers game. So I think my brain is is soup. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Oh man. Or what if what if Obama is really big into like uh, Call of Duty? That would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> He's really good at it. Uh, oh, I got a 
a sneak preview of this zone earlier, I think. I am in bad shape health-wise, but it doesn't seem to matter. Because there's nobody around. Oh, yeah, this just loops me around up here. Whatevies. <laughs> no, Ricky, you'll not show us the birth certificate. We saw it already. Also, I know he's from here. <laughs> you got... Ricky, we got three tornado warnings and a loss of power. Yikes. Man, my screen... I get, I'm getting the chat, but I'm stuck on a Totino's ad. <laughs> Just... Oh, man. We love Totino's, though, right? That's weird. Yeah, I get ads. Like, I'm not good enough to be... I, I'm not good enough to have, like, a, a, a donate button, but, a, but boy, they can slap ads all over my shit. Thanks a lot, Twitch. I'm like, I sound like the a bratty teenager who's mad at his dad. Whatever dad, you don't even understand. This is my art. You don't even know. I don't know why my teenager voice is Snake from The Simpsons, but I'm okay with that. Shit, shit! <laughs> I was doing something. Might not be. That might be pointless. I might have been wasting my time, but it seemed like a good way to find a secret. There we go. Man, maybe I can find an E tank or something, because that health noise is annoying. Do you hear that, Joss? Yeah. Oh, I kind of like it. It's not the oh, worst one ever. Hey, Hobbs. Buddy. Oh. Have we talked about Hobbs' weird, mournful toy bringing on here? Oh, no. So at night, Hobbs has this habit of trying to shepherd us to bed. And part of that entails him walking into the room. Oh, this was pointless. This was so pointless. Damn it. Oh, well. It seemed like a secret could be here. What a fool I've been. Um... He'll, he'll come in from out of the room down the hall, and the whole time he'll be doing this hilariously mournful meow. We're like, nope. and it's like, oh no, is he sad? Is he hurt? Is he okay? He's fine. He just has a toy in his mouth, but he also has to meow around the toy in his mouth. And so it comes out as this really sad, ridiculous sound. And he's just trying to make us go to bed, because... Uh, deep down, his personality is that of an 80s mom. Mm -hmm. He doesn't approve of pro wrestling or Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. nope. And is really big on bedtimes. Yep. Very strict about bedtimes. So he is our, our sweet, fat little 80s mom, who is a cat. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rikio Hobbs is not a stupid cat. He's a fantastic cat. He's the best. Um, and, yeah, stre uh, streaming movies... And uh, and discussing them and yakking over them, that is not off the table. That's that's still gonna happen. I don't know when, but let's uh, let's let's put our heads together for that. Cause that I think that'd be great. He's a good boy. I think that'd be great. Yeah, Hobbs is wonderful, and I will not hear these this slander against his character. I mean, he's kind of a penis too, but. In a cool way. No! I actually, this is okay. I'm in Nowheresville. Ooh, though this seems new. Oh my god, I remember this. This is crazy. I just had a... You know that thing where you, you remember something that was buried in the back of your brain forever? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Give me that missile. Doo -doo -doo. That's like a weirdly satisfying feeling. Like tickles the back of your brain. It is. It's nostalgic and triumphant at the same time. Yeah. Although maybe I just... No, okay. This is... Yeah. See, I think they reuse architecture, which makes sense from like a you're on a Game Boy cartridge point of view. But it makes the game confusing. <laughs> I 
got so many missiles now. I'm pretty much Mr. Missile. Which is a great nickname. Hello, Mr. Missile. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up on what a great nickname that is. Mm -hmm. Dang. It's a big... I love... So one thing that Metroids have pretty much across the board is... Um, not only horizontal corridors, but vertical corridors, which I am fascinated by. I feel like, cause you don't, I feel like you don't see those very often in games. There's something weirdly exciting about that. It really does feel like you're plunging into some dark, weird little world. Oh boy. Oh, I've been here. Jesus, I've been here a bazillion times. Go somewhere else, Matt. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, what fanfics, Riccio? I want to hear about your fanfiction. That goes for you too, Ted. If you're writing fanfiction, you can't be holding out on me. That goes for you too, Jess. Yeah, do you write fan fiction? Or did did you ever, like, back in the day? Hmm. I did. What were you on? Uh, little, little Metroid, little Mario. Nice. Yeah. If I did, it would have been, like, X-Files. Oh, yeah, X-Files fanfic? Yeah. That lends itself super well to fan fiction, actually. That would be awesome. <laughs> Riccio, Ed, Ed, and Eddie fanfic in Jurassic Park. <laughs> and six sequels. Actually, now that you mention that, Riccio, I think we've talked about that before. I think Ed, Ed, and Eddie in Jurassic Park is weirdly specific enough. I think we've actually talked about that before. Ted, if you're writing for profit, I am so jealous. That is fucking awesome. Oh, and yeah, I've opened this door already. Man, I just start going in circles. I better get the ice beam again, though. <laughs> It'd be sweet if that was, like, a double ice beam, but it's not. It's regular style. Though that makes... That leads me to believe... Ooh, shit. That leads me to believe that some nastier Metroids are coming up soon. Which is exciting, but also scary. Oh, I froze them. Ow! Fuck! Why didn't you die? You there we go. You died before, J Bone. I don't think that's caught on yet, Jess. It will. You think so? J Bone is my cool shortened version of Jabroni. All right, let's let's leave this section. I've been dicking around here too long. Time to penis around somewhere else. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's right, gosh. The hardest swear word. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense, Ted. I just saw profit and writing in the same sentence and was like, tell me more! Nosy mode engaged. Oh, so speaking of topics to talk about, <laughs> smooth transition, Matt. Uh, Jess just found out that John Wick 3 is coming out in 2019. Uh, yeah. Did you guys see John Wick? We saw John Wick. John Wick 1, mwah, perfect action movie. John Wick 2, pretty good too. Pretty good. But it kind of, I think, I think you, Jess, you and I kind of, we're in the same boat. It uh, kind of had its its head up its own ass. Or not not that's too harsh. It got it got too into like mythology of of the world. Too much. Yeah, yeah, it spent yeah. all its time explaining yeah. stuff, which John Wick one only explained what it needed to explain, and that's what was awesome about it. Yeah, and it left simple, it left things mysterious. Very simple, mysterious. But yeah, very yeah. Story. Whereas John Wick 2 wanted to, like, sit you down and just tell you shit. Right. 
here's how this world works and why. And it's like, well, we could have just inferred a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I, I would I would honestly say John Wick 2 is one of the top three action movies of the last decade. Would you agree? What's it again? That the, the original John Wick is like one of the top three action movies of the last decade. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah two... The longer two goes on, the like weirder... It was. And but two two still had a bunch of cool shit. But yeah, it just got got lost. Blech. Oh man. There we go. Now, I think that's just going to take me back to where I was, but I'm going to look at it real quick. Yeah, we've been here before. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Been, he been there, done that. Do you remember that, Jess? Oh, yeah. Me too. Was that Mountain Dew or Surge? Oh, I have no idea. I feel like everybody did. I think it was I think it was Mountain Dew. Cuz Surge's whole thing was just yelling the word Surge. Yeah. Which is kind of awesome. Do you want to play that thing? Uh yeah. Hit it. I'm going to bed. You going to bed? Yeah. All right. Good night, Tag. Good night, Ricky. Out. Hit the bricks. I will. Good. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Good night, Jess. Good night. And in case you didn't hear uh Ted and Riccio, Jess said good night. She gotta catch them Z's. Ooh, yeah. That's a pretty good top three, Riccio, because Kingsman was terrific. And Baby Driver was fucking rock solid. I'm excited to see Edgar Wright do more stuff. And I'm 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 okay with him transitioning away from comedy, though he's really good at comedy. I don't necessarily want him to transition away from comedy but I'll live if he does fuck okay so I've been here like a million times also okay so I'm gonna do my maze thing <laughs> my maze trick that's to pick one direction and go in it forever in this case it's gonna be left or like down into the left but mostly left uh, so eventually I will see everything it's gonna take a long time but I think I, I just keep getting hung up uh, in the same couple rooms over and over again and I don't want to do that so we're just gonna go left oh, fuck just keep going left so I guess yeah left sometimes becomes down using that formula but that's okay that's okay okay so been here so now the new left I don't know if, I don't know if I'm describing this very well the new left becomes up and I'll just keep going up into the left forever it makes more sense uh, from your POV you'd go left forever and then when you hit a dead end, the left now becomes what used to be forward. I don't know if that explains it any better. Or if I'm uh, having a sunstroke. <laughs> Couldn't be. Could be both. You be the judge. Judy and executioner. <laughs> Ricky, I'll... I'll well, both of you guys, I'll, I'll tell her you said goodnight, but uh, Ricky, I, I, <laughs> goodnight, sweetheart's a nice touch. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of with you. I consider, I consider monster movies mostly to be separate from action movies. Something like Predator, though, I would consider an action movie. My, uh, 
I, I don't know that I have like hard and fast rules for genre definitions because I think you get into stuff that uh, is like oh, fuck that is literally genre bending. Like what would you call Hellboy? Speaking of Hellboy, whoa, <laughs> that new Hellboy is jiggity jacked. Um, or at least his prosthesis is jiggity jacked. But uh, I think that looks good. I I'm sad. I'm I, I I talked about it on Tumblr a little bit. You guys might have seen it already. Um, I'm sad that we're never gonna get Del Toro and Pearlman's Hellboy three, but I'm also very interested in this take on the character because. Del Toro's Hellboy was good, but it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, I felt like it didn't really capture the comics. It was kind of its own thing in a good way. So I'm hoping they, I hope they lean closer to the source material with, uh, with this new crew. Fuck. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ah, shit. Alright, I'm just going left. Just going left forever. I'm going to hit some new stuff eventually. Or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That, yeah, pre yeah. But you, I think you could make an argument for action with Predator. But yeah, but that's the thing. I, I don't know. I like, I like, I really like genre benders like that. Where it, it defies easy description. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't defy description 100%. This looks new. I think I found some new stuff. Yeah. All right. Maybe. We were... Stuck in a time loop there for a while. Yeah, this seems... I'm going to keep reassuring myself and hope that it's true. I'm pretty sure it is. Alright. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, I, th I think there's an argument. You can... D whenever... When it, whenever you can make an argument for e for multiple genres for one movie, I'm like, that's pretty cool. Because, like, Matrix, I think, is a good example, too. And, and technically, it's probably sci-fi. But it's also definitely an action movie. Cool. All right. All right, Seamus. Let's find some shit and kill some other shit. Uh-oh, that's acid. Oh yeah, we got a we got a Metroid coming up. Ooh, is he gonna sneak attack me? Not yet. Okay, good. But see, yeah, I don't know. I think it's it. I I like the discussion of when you get into those genre benders. I like. I think it's fun to parse it out. Overall feel and intent of the movie. Yeah. That makes sense. Sequels are the same genre as the original. According to industry standard. Sure. Um, but I think... I think... Uh oh I hear those Metroid noises. I think... I think with sequels, though, kind of like you said in the first part, um, I think overall feel and intent's really important because Alien is horror... But you could make a strong argument for sci-fi. And then Aliens is like a war movie. But, you know. Like, how do you classify Aliens? Sci-fi again? Sure. Like, I don't know. I can see I can see the argument for all of them. I think that's why... I don't know. As humans, we love to label and categorize stuff. <laughs> Look at these guys uh there's almost no interpretation of this enemy that uh is good because like it's like a butt or it's a cock and balls 
It's, it's bad news. I can't hurt them, though. Do they hurt me? No. I stand on them, and they drop. Cool. What a bunch of weirdos. Oh. <laughs> Weird. Ooh, that is strange. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, what a incredibly weird room. <laughs> Why is there no secrets here? This is such a. This, whenever I think like, oh, here's a perfect place for a secret, the game's like, nah. You're wrong. Not you, Matt. Not this ye. Yeah, the flying bollocks, yes. Aliens is horror too. Yes. I agree. <laughs> Rocky 4 is still drama, even though the drama's been cut out of it. Because the first Rocky is drama. Right, I... I Ricky, I, I get what Ted's saying. It's not... It, Ted's not saying he necessarily agrees with that, but it's just... That's... That's how the movie industry labels the stuff. Oh, hello, Metroid. You didn't get the drop on me that time, you dumb dumb. I'm not scared of you anymore. Oh, wait. Maybe I am. I'm very low on health. I'm scared of you. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. I was joking. <laughs> I need to find some health. I'm capping Metroid's like it's nothing. Health orb? No. Glad we found some new. Oh shit, these guys are gonna be bad. There we go. Oh my gorb. Oh, save station. That that'll. That's pretty solid. Uh, acid reflux. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, arguing with Hollywood is uh, the path to madness. Kind of like trying to come up with a canonical timeline for the Mario games. Just don't do it. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, Sam is no... Glad we saved. Do-who. Alright. Here we go. Do. She's so cool. Do you guys remember in about 2002, around when Metroid Prime and Fusion came out, there was the rumor flying around that John Woo was being was either being approached or just wanted to make a Metroid movie? And uh, I just remember thinking, like, nah, bro. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I love, uh, I love Face Off. But uh, he is probably one of the wrongest choices possible for a Metroid movie. <laughs> oh, ooh, that was close. Get in there. Good job, Samus. And me. I did something. Oh, yeah. Missiles are cool, but not what I needed. Oh, actually, we want to do it this way. There we go. There we go. Fook. This is a happy stream. Once the other me. Hollywood doesn't run on logic. Yeah. No, Hollywood runs on Duncan. Just kidding. Cocaine. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. We got to we got to get out of here. I need some health. Yeah. Did it does it get... Oh, it gets louder sometimes. That's horrifying. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, shit. Come on, man. Hook me up. I don't need missiles. I got missiles off the ass. I got like 94 missiles. I need health. These things normally spawn bad guys. Oh, fine. Fuck it. We got 42. 42, that's the meaning of life in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So that's good enough for me. That guy I just killed looks like the red virus from Dr. Mario. 
I like to pretend that that's an intentional homage. But it's probably not. All right, let's go. Come on, Seamus. We're going to jump over that robot's laser. Instead of fucking around with it like a dum-dum. Come on. Yeah. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> he just bounced me out of the room. That'll work. Another save point? Sure. We'll take it. I would prefer health. So I'm at 17 hit points. Holy cannoli. Oh my god. They're gonna drop a beta Metroid on me. Just wait. Oh, that guy! Alright, I'm gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna harvest schlubs. Jabrones. It's funny, like, uh, I love this series, and I love memorizing the names of baddies in games. Like, I've impressed Jess more than once by knowing what certain Zelda and Mario critters are named. This series, got nothing. <laughs> like, I know there's gamers and zoomers, but I couldn't tell you who they are. Um, yeah. Mock Troids, I know those, because that's an easy one to remember because they're fake Metroids, but like... These dildos, I got no idea. Side hoppers, pretty self-explanatory. I know the bosses. I love a Metroid boss. Wait, Kevin Costner tried to do Majin in the late eighties, like Die Majin. Elaborate, please. Oh, I love a good elaboration. Mm. Oh boy. Well, I got 47 hit points. I can take a Alpha Metroid. Yeah. Come here, dummy. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh fuck. Come on, come on. Oh, I got too cocky. I got way too penisy. Alright. I have so little health. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna do this. We're gonna be fine. Ooh, let's explore. I was kind of just running to the left still. Shit. Okay. Oh, fuck you. I'm not real thrilled about these guys. Giving me missiles of all things get a life bro oh yeah oh I shouldn't have killed him I should have used him as a stepping stone see this is this is some of that repetitive architecture that literally made me scratch my head just now ooh but maybe it's a th oh shit <laughs> I was not ready for a Metroid. I was not ready for a Metroid. What's the company that did the killer and hard boiled? He was supposedly allied with them. Wow. I don't I don't know the company. I know those are those are like uh Hong Kong action flicks. But that's all I know. Turn to Leafy for who's Leafy? That sounds so magical. And yes, I turned into him. Or her. Or it. Ooh. I don't think I went down here. Water zone. Thank God I don't need the gravity suit. I mean, I love the gravity suit, but I'm just glad I don't need it. Oh, uh, we are so close to death. Come on. We? I'm dragging you guys down with me. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I keep I do keep bombing random walls. Ooh, yeah. 
This looks like a home of a tasty secret. Maybe a cool power up. See, I like I like that. I like that those there's those distorted blocks there to give you a hint of something. Or like or like in Zelda when there's a crack in a wall. I always prefer some kind of hint versus just oh fuck. <laughs> baby. Alright, we're gonna have to find a save point for that. 32. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice. Yes! I was hoping I'd find one of these. Oh, man, I'm making progress. Metroid games make you feel like a badass. You're constantly getting shit done. You're finding new stuff. Ooh, baby. Bang, 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 bang. I like that this one... Ted, I forgot that this one you start with the Morph Ball and Missiles. That is dope as hell. Hey. Why would you do that to me? Ah, here we go. Fake out. Nice. Oh yeah, balls. Oh, and that's a... I guess that could be a power-up, but since it's just an orb right now, it looks like a health orb. Oh, but I, I gotta crack it open. No? Give me thing. What the fuck? <laughs> Some evil shit. Come on, baby. What is the point of blowing up these balls? And they come back? Fuck you, man. What is happening? Why can't I have this? This is maddening. Okay. Bomb jump up there. Okay. Leafy ain't magical. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, literally. That's why I was hoping you could help me. Oh, it's red, so maybe I need to hit it with a missile. We'll go with that. That seems plausible-ish. Yeah! Varia suit, baby. Give me them shoulder pads. Oh my gosh, she's so cool. You guys, she's so fucking cool. Sammy is my jammy. Hell yeah! Come on, Metroids. Oh, that is fucking sick. I gotta find a save point. Got to, got to, got to. Hell yeah. Oh, I think she's faster, too. Ah, oh, Samus. You're my number one guy. Batman. Reference. I'm not saying that she's Batman. Ooh, more stuff. No. Ooh, but that does that does tell you like, hey, you can move through these distorted blocks. That's cool. I like that so much. Oh. <gasps> ha ha ha. It's still more missiles though, man. I need some health, dudes. I got missiles out the old wazoo. Alright. Okay, so you know how kids on YouTube overreact to everything and treat everything like drama? Yes. He's the manifestation of that. Oh. Oh, gross. 
I don't want to be that. I wor I sometimes I'm worried that I come across like that, but it's not true. I'm always like this. <laughs> Now, Ted, I think um, if it's normally white, uh, it's because the way I'm playing it is basically like playing it on a Super Game Boy where they colorized some stuff. Because I think it looks nice. But yeah, I did. I rocked. I rocked a green and black back in the day. But I like. I like the splash of color that you get playing it this way. Oh fuck yeah, baby. Marginally more health, but a dead Metroid and a Varia suit, so I'll take it. Did we go up here? I don't know if we went up here. Oh, I can't go up there, because spikies. Oh, yeah, we can milk these dildos. For oh, no, gross. Rephrase, Matt. Do not say milk these dildos. Milk these idiots, jabronis, goobers. Just not dildos. Never dildos. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to Super Apartment Friends After Dark. Matt's milking dildos. <laughs> On the reg. Uh, building back up five hit points at a time. Baby, baby. Look at that. Getting borderline respectable. Shit, not like that! Mm. Oh damn, okay. We got a Metroid waiting for us. Us, again, I'm like all about the Royal Wii tonight. Ooh, hello! Yeah! <laughs> Skating on that thin, thin ice. Shit is thinner than John Waters' mustache. 14 hit points, baby. I gotta not just I gotta not just blindly jump down like that. That is a fucking death wish. Ooh, here we go. Oh, I see. I see you there. Maybe. Ah, alright, there's nothing. I'm gonna shoot down though. Man, I keep keep thinking, oh, this would be a great place for a secret. No. It's a shitty place for a secret, Matt. Look how oh this one goes up high. That's also just satisfying to do. This reminds me of the way that it, when you shoot, it takes out a perfect big block like that. It reminds me of an Atari game that I... Hi, Metroid. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Daddy wasn't ready for that. <sighs> okay. Um... Uh... <laughs> So the sand reminds me, there was an Atari 2600 game where you played as like uh, outlaws having a duel and it was just the two, two big blocky ass cowboy sprites on either end of the screen and you just shot at the other guy and took pieces off of them. Loved it. It's not Wild Gunman because that's an NES game, but in my head I remember it as that. It's probably just called Duel because in Atari times you could just do that. It don't, why does it look like a killer shrimp, Riccio? Because it basically is a killer shrimp. It's like a nine foot tall shrimp. It's like a, um, what is it, the, the mantis. What's that, that crazy, the pistol shrimp, I think. The pistol shrimp that strikes so fast that it like ignites water and can see like 16 colors that we can't and all this crazy shit. 
the Metroids, when they start evolving, are basically gigantic pistol shrimps that, like, suck out your life force. They're great. I, I feel like they did a really good job of... And the Metroid evolutions only really show up in this. In the other games, they're usually just flying jellyfish with teeth because that's pretty scary on its own. Um, but I think I think with this game and the evolutions, they did a good job of aping the Xenomorph but making it unique enough that it doesn't feel like just someone aping the Xenomorph. Because I know uh, Marvel Comics has the Brood, and that felt that felt a little like, oh, it's... A, it's totally not a xenomorph guys it's like yeah it is we all know it marvel it's okay we want to see iron man fight the xenomorph just own just own it go with it but i think the xenomorph or i think the brood zombifies its victims or something there there, there are you know they they definitely switched it up a little bit but the design is like okay that's a xenomorph that's the kmart xenomorph which is okay who doesn't fucking love a kmart xenomorph how many more times can i say xenomorph i bet a lot let's kill some more alphas and not try to not try to fight a beta with 10 percent of my health left Oh, fuck. How are you not dead, you dick? <laughs> Still no health power-ups? Okay. Fine. Good. Good. I didn't want a health power-up anyway. Health for little wiener babies. Fine. Who needs it? Not me. Is that spikes down there? I don't... Yeah, that's... Okay. Nothing? Alright. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you guys a minute. I got 20 hit points left. Should I go try and fight that other beta Metroid? Let me know what you think. What uh, what are your thoughts? I want I want to hear I want I want to hear your take on it. Mantis shrimp and pistol shrimp are the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it is kind of like a vampire squid. <laughs> the people it kills get up and kill. Oh yeah, no Metroids. Um, Metroids don't animate the dead. They just uh, I think the brood animates the dead. Metroids just suck out your fucking soul. <laughs> they there's a really cool um in super metroid you run into some some victims of the metroids and they're just they're like gray and you touch them and they just turn to dust it's awesome because <laughs> yeah they're not like blood suckers and they're not they don't like tear you open and eat your organs they just they pull something more vague out of you I mean, it could just be water, but it just seems like <laughs> it just is. Like, yeah. Okay. Here we go. I know I said, Hey guys, you should vote, but it's just an alpha Metroid. Yeah, it, that's true. It does, it does pro progress me through the game to kill these guys. I do. I think I'm going to go back and save though. Cause I just offed. A pair of Metroids with no health, and one of them was a fucking beta Metroid. Oh god, am I gonna die on the way to the save station? I would prefer not to. Okay. And in most most of the games, or maybe and maybe that's just the, the like the basic jellyfish form, but usually you have to freeze them first. But so far, alphas and, and betas I can kill just with uh, missiles. I guess because they you know they have a different structure. Oh yeah, it's kind of 
crazy that there's not. Or maybe, I'm, I mean, there's a very good chance I'm right next to a possible health power-up and just keep missing it, but it really seems like I'm not. That's okay. That's okay, we'll just heal up, or we'll not heal, I'd love to heal up, but I'm going to save. Yeah, there we go. Down to 30. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty. Alright, there we go. All right, we missed some time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out a little longer than midnight. Also, I am like kind of jamming, or, or I feel like I'm jamming. I'm probably not actually, but uh, this game does a good job of making you feel like you're accomplishing a lot. Like I got some of the, some of some of the most powerful power ups within the first couple hours. Though it's not a long game. If I was any good at if I was good at this, I could have beaten it one and a half times already. But it's been like a decade since I've played it. So I would say this. This is the 2D Metroid I'm the least familiar with. The 3D ones, I, I, I really, I loved Metroid Prime 1. Metroid Prime 2 was cool, but kind of flawed. And th I liked 3 a lot too. And th 3 was ambitious to the point where it started, it, it was ambitious in a way that started to not feel like Metroid anymore, but it wasn't a bad game, which is a weird, it's like a weird place to be. Oh, oh, that's, that's no good. Alright, missiles. Oh yeah, here we go. I watch this alpha kick my ass. Never mind. Ooh, we're in the twenties. Ooh, there's something down there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme that stuff. Oh, I bet I get to it from there. I can see it. I can see it in my mind's eye. Yeah. Yes. Mm, 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 give me that health. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, I did kind of describe the the Alien franchise. Though with with Alien, I guess with Alien the thing that always stuck out to me was the the chest burster like the face hugger chest burster life cycle. That is because it fucking scarred me for life at age 10. I'm like, oh my god. Um, that, boy, that is... Because the big xenomorph is great. Great monster. It's super scary. It's To me, that is still very scary. Um, but the... The face hugger chest burster life cycle is... That's the jam. That's your story. Like... <laughs> Yeah. And the Metroids don't really have that. They just, uh. They're just like soul sucking eating machines. But they have, they, I mean, they have an interesting life cycle with the. Because on, on their home, the, on their home planet is the only time we see them morph into these big ass pistol shrimp things. Every other game, they're off their home world and they stay as the, the fanged jellyfish. Which fucking fly out of walls and swarms and latch onto you and are can only be hurt if you freeze them first. It would make a great movie. I think it'd be different enough. Alright. Is this another... We going straight to beta? No. Alpha? <laughs> I've got full health? Bring it. Bring it. 
Oh, <laughs> Alien Covenant. Yeah, I'd watch that with you. I would totally watch Alien Covenant with you. I think I think that's the main way I would feel like watching that movie. Because <laughs> the reviews were not kind to it. It just it just looks like more Prometheus. And with Prometheus, if it had no ties to Alien and just set out to be its own sci-fi horror movie, I would have been into it. I would have been more into it. It was the thing. It was the the connections they tried to make to Alien that drove me nuts. Like, just be your own movie, man. Oh yeah. See now, have I been here before, or is this a a very similar tube? I guess we'll see. Who did I get? Oh, oops. Oh yeah, that's a different place. Ooh, where are we? Oh my god, Tunnel Blick, get a life. <laughs> Tunnel Blick is the is is one of the pieces of software that I use to remote in. <laughs> and it's got an update, just so you know guys, there's an update to Tunnel Blick. Oh my god. Breaking news on Super Apartment Friends, the latest in Tunnel Blick announcements. Which sounds like a gibberish word. It sounds like me saying something wrong, but it truly is called Tunnel Blick. I don't think they're from around here. Oops. Oh, they all break. Oh, yeah, it's this type of block. Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, this is a this is a weird this is a weird zone. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, come on. No, no, no! Mm. Oh, it's a fake out. Alright. Nothing. Oh, boy. Well, actually, let's, let's see this. A suspicious little corner of nothing. Of Jack and shit. Oh, it does look like yeah, it looks like Turian from uh, from the original Metroid. Totally. Hang on, Covenant has clipping issues. Oh, Riccio, that's amazing. We gotta watch it. Sold, sold. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I haven't, unfortunately, I have yet to see 2001 Yangari. I will someday. But yeah, even even shitty sci-fi original movies, you don't see that. Yeah, Covenant had a huge budget. What is wrong with Ridley Scott? I'm so glad he's not directing Blade Runner 2049. Because I don't have any faith in him. In, in him? In, in, in him. That's all I was trying to say, was in him. Oh uh, yeah, missiles, baby! Give me the missiles. Ah, fuck. That's all right. We have to go the long way. Dun, dun, dun. Well, yeah, it's um, it got released in the U.S. as Reptilian, right? And it's like it's clearly. It's marketed as, oh shit, it's marketed as like a Geno or a Godzilla 98 type movie, but it's not, right? It fights like a, it fights another monster. I, I might be getting this mixed up with another movie, but it sounded insane and like the kind of insane that I'm into. From <laughs> live action Scooby-Doo movie, directed by James Gunn, okay? And I, the, not a lot to go to bat for with the live action Scooby-Doo movie, but the thing they did with Scrappy I thought was really funny. I thought that was cute and clever and like weirdly meta. I was on board for that. And I liked how many monsters were in the second one because I watched both of those fucking movies. Because there's something wrong with my brain. <laughs> And it's not like I saw him as a kid. As an adult man. I was like, hey, it's just... Oh, an E-Tank. 
as an adult man, I was like, hey, it's just me here. Maybe I should watch both Scooby-Doo movies on Netflix. And I fucking did. So, you know, that's how cool of a person I am. The coolest. Look, I was alone at the time, and... <laughs> it's a dark time in my life. <laughs> Who am I fucking kidding? I was curious. Alright. We made some good... We... Well, I guess at, at least this time I'm, I'm sharing the good stuff with you guys, but we made some, like, real-ass progress tonight. I mean, granted, I was stuck in a loop of nonsense for a long, long time, but still, feeling pretty fucking solid. I'm thinking, if you guys are digging seeing this, um, I might stream this some more next week. So that might be that might be overload on oops that might be overload on metroid 2 because i'm about to play the remake as soon as i get done streaming oh damn so yeah we'll see though geez we only have a couple weeks until uh spooktober starts up which i'm taking requests on that also um gotta be spooky though or, or like, you know, spooky themed. I'm thinking about, I was actually leaning pretty hard towards doing a full playthrough of the Xbox 360 Ghostbusters, because I've been looking for an excuse to play that again, and it's also like a pretty good licensed game, even though it seems like I play nothing but licensed games on here. <laughs> um, ooh, hello. Oh yeah, there we go. I love finding secrets. It's so good. Oh, look at this motherfucker. A little robot man. Hello, I'm the robot. Shut up, robot. Nobody asked you. But you did. Shut up, robot. Alright. Maybe for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that 2001 Yungari looks crazy. That's true. I think, Riccio, I, I feel like maybe this was a safe place to admit to watching the live-action Scooby-Doo's because you've watched all 75 Land Before Time movies. So I feel like you kind of understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a typo, but I like it. You fudge. I You know, I'm actually borrowing Silent Hill 3 from Ralph, friend of the stream, Ralph. Oh, wave beam, baby! And I just remembered why they let me re-get the ice beam. Because you have to have the ice beam. So, uh, hopefully I find myself in that. Oh, and there's actually multiple ice beam locations. So I'll have to make sure to get the ice beam the next time I see it. I do like the wave beam, though. Does every... I, I pronounce it Kozo, but I think it's Chozo, those bird guys. Um... I think in this game they all have this this basement. And I think only one of them, the basement, leads to anything worthwhile. Oh, yeah. I think this one goes through walls. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Daddy-like. Oh, yeah. I want to see what's up here. That's a tall... Oh, nothing. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, Ted, they're... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, like I said, you know, I may have written some Metroid fanfic back in the day. Uh, yeah, those bird guys are called... the. It's spelled C-H-O-Z-O. -O. So, like, it makes sense that the official pronunciation is Chozo, but for some reason I always read it as Kozo. And it kind of sounds cooler, I think. But, uh, yeah, man. It's the ancient ancient super uh super sophisticated alien race that built uh samus's armor and so that's why she can get power-ups from those old ass statues oh boy okay i think my brain is soup and I might 
might be at that call to night point. Maybe. This room is intimidating. <laughs> it's a thinker. Okay. Shit. I get to I get to uh fuck. I get too impatient waiting for the bomb to go off. There we go. That is sad that is weirdly satisfying to do though, to hook on to uh to hook on to surfaces like that off of a bomb jump. Also satisfying? Death Cheerios or SpaghettiOs. Dealer's choice. Ooh, is this where I just was? That can't be. Oh, it seems like it. Yes. What the fuck? What? Hmm, what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at that, that brain into soup stage. I know I need to get up to that thing, so we'll just do this. It's really st hmm. Yeah, these l <laughs> the repeating rooms and the lack of map make this super confusing. Oh, Chojin Zuko. Which does that translate to like bird person in Japanese? I hope it does. And then, yeah, the, the planet in the first one in Super Metroid is pronounced Zebus, isn't it? Because I always read that as Zebes. Though I will say, in that case, I think Zebus sounds uh, cooler and scarier. So I'm good with that. Ooh, I gotta find a, I gotta find a save point before we quit. I wonder how long that will take. Actually, I don't think it'll take long, because I think if I drop off this and go to the right, I will find one. Bam, bam. Down to 28 Metroids. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Welp. I got a new version of this to play, so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it a night. Bird person, man, or family. Cool that's cool that makes sense yeah i love dude i love the like the backstory and lore for these games i love these games just period um so yeah thanks for stopping in guys oh ricky so speaking of silent hill ricky you're saying three is like the second best one so that's cool that'll be a, a good place to start Find it the most unnerving to look at in terms of its environment. Cool. That'll be great for Spooktober. So that seems like a strong candidate. Because, um, yeah, I was thinking of something a little lighter like like Ghostbusters or Luigi's Mansion. But I think maybe Silent Hill 3 might be... That might be the one we do. Because I haven't, I haven't played any of the Silent Hills. I've been meaning to. Uh, and I love... like Because I, I love Jacob's Ladder, which I know is a huge inspiration for those. Um, and I just... It, I just have heard it's super fucking creepy. I I actually liked the movie okay, e and e but even though I recognize that that was like the dumb Hollywood version of something like much more, uh, much more like evocative and vague. Um. So yeah, that might be Silent Hill Three is is a strong candidate I would say for like just a front to back playthrough for Spooktober. We'll see though. It is tempting to do like Kai. I was my original thought was to do something like Kai July and just bounce to different stuff every week because like I would love to play Splatterhouse one week and then, you know, Resident Evil Four one week or whatever. But we'll see. That's still we got a couple weeks to nail everything down. Um, ooh, do silly ones for each week and in the middle just do Silent Hill randomly. That would be, that is a cool idea. That's under consideration, too. Yeah, Ted and I were talking about uh, NES Nightmare on Elm, on Elm Street. I might have to do a potpourri. That might... I think I'm going to... I love the idea of, of doing stuff front to back, but I, I also love a potpourri. I think we're going to do that. Woo! Oh, yeah! 
Dude, yeah, yeah. Just I think Jess and Ralph would be up for for something like that. Also, my buddy Will, who I don't think has been on the stream yet, or he has been once, but it was a while ago. I was one of the first thoughts I had was him and I playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors together because we had a really good time doing that co-op years ago. So that's on the docket too. <laughs> Make it meta and seem like the stream was just a dream. That is a really cool idea. I really like that, Riccio. Be like, oh, right. Today we're playing uh, Friday the 13th for NES. And then it cuts out and goes to Silent Hill 3. That'd be awesome. Oh, you know, it'd be really creepy. I don't I don't have, like, the, the budget or, uh, or, like, skill to do this. But uh, the creepiest thing would be if the stream cut out and then when it came back on, it was someone else playing Silent Hill 3 in a different background. If I could make that happen, I fucking would. Ooh, that, that creeps me out just thinking about it. Oh, man. Yeah. I love spooky stuff. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember. Will might have been on his dock also. Um, I don't, yeah. I don't know if he... I thought we did one together, but it was, a, like, a while ago. Right, yeah, that's the thing. It's such a cool idea, but since we're sitting here discussing it, and, like, you guys are the primary audience, it's like, well, you would know what's going on. Maybe I'll come up with something like that, though. I'll try and hatch something. We'll see. Um, or maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just wait until, like, February and do that. Be like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm here playing uh, Mario Odyssey. And then it cuts out and cuts back to somebody else playing Silent Hill 3. We'll see. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's a fun idea, man. Uh, guys, thank you so much for stopping in. Ricky O. Ted, you're the best. If there's anybody else watching, thank you for stopping in, too. I'm Matt. This is Super Apartment Friends. We do this every Thursday from 10 to midnight Eastern time. Uh, we are on Facebook as Super Apartment Friends. We post shit on there every weekday. And uh, also on Twitter as Super APT Friends. Same deal. Um, yeah, Ricky, I'm glad you're alive. Ted, glad you made it. Um, I'm going to go play the new one. I'm going to go play the new one. Ah! But first, I'm going to shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it all down. Hey, real quick. Check out my cool background, though. <laughs> all right. I'm going to shut it down for real now. Bye-bye.